I mean, to be a in the English book section, I just thought I'd vlog because I haven't done this in ages. I'll just speak really quietly because I feel like people are going to get disturbed if I speak too loudly. I'm going to this one. I've already gotten my little delivery. Well, it's not delivery really, is it? It's an order. So I got that and I bought another book. And I'm going to buy another one in the next week, I'm going to pick up some more, but I'm going to be a little bit OTT with it. I'm going to go up there. Look at me. Very cool. Oh, look at this, it's so cute. The flamingo and the watermelon. Oh my god, the lemon. It's so cute. We're going to pay for the stuff now, so. Okay, so we're out. We've paid for the stuff. I've got a bag full of books. And now I'm heading to the salon to try and cancel my appointment. Well, actually reschedule it for... I have it on the 14th to go and cut my hair again, but I think I'm just going to schedule it for two weeks after. So I think that's what I'm going to be doing. <laughs> I'm going to back there. Say hi! So I'm just going to go and cancel that really quickly. Hopefully they'll let me do it once I'm here already. So, yeah. And I want to try and get some takeaway because I'm very hungry. And I'm here, so I might as well. Some stuff is actually open. Okay. So. We're on the way to see if we can get a cheeky little five guys. I haven't gotten that in ages, so I really want to try and get some chips or something. And just treat myself. I haven't gotten any in like months. I mean, obviously in Mexico there aren't any, but I haven't gotten taken off takeaway in months since October or something. So I'm heading that way. And I'm just so happy I get to be out and about and exploring. Even though we can't exactly be in restaurants and stuff yet, I know it's going to happen at some point, so I'm really happy. <laughs> and I don't even know if you can hear me, but that's okay. It's so pretty and the sun's out and I'm actually getting quite hot. It's like a luxurious shopping centre that I've never been in. Douglas, my bay. Look at that building. That Engelhart house, I don't know, in the espresso building. It's so pretty, yeah. Look at that. We are at Five Guys. You're not going to be able to hear me, so. Oh my god, this is going to be so worth it. The happiness. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited to order. <laughs> so, a cheeseburger. A double cheeseburger, so the normal one. Cheeseburger. What do you want? What do you want? Okay, so we get large. Okay. Oh, 
We in blue. There we go. <laughs> You're not coping. Free, 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 free. Oh! Huh? I had a gum inside. <laughs> <laughs> My ear. Uh, um, you can mess with me. You want to try? No, thank you. See, it was worth it. See, Whatever. walking and going outside is worth it. I okay. told you. We got it. It is received. That was a burpee now. It's worth it. There's a lush over there. I can't wait till I go there. This smells amazing. <laughs> it's making my mouth water. Where are you going? There we go. Finally. We're gonna go home now. Well, actually, no. We need to go pick up fabric softener. And I want to go get either Oreos or strawberries so I can make my own milkshake with lactose-free milk at home. So I don't die. <laughs> I mean, I don't have ice cream, but it's fine. Yeah. It is fine. <laughs> Angles, people, is what they matter. Look at the pretty cloud. See it. <laughs> I think I can see your head through the other. Hello. Yo. Look at that! Oh, look at the trees and goodness! Ah, it's so amazing! I'm so excited! And the chips! Oh my god! Worth the over a year long wait. Mm. I think the last time I had Five Guys, it was 2019, so... <laughs> Lovely. I love doing this. I don't know if I'm the only one, but grabbing the cheese off the the foil. Okay, I've got to do a taste test on camera though, and then I'll let you enjoy. The little time lapse. Mm. Is he peeing? Yes. That guy is peeing. He's so, that is so gross. He's gonna turn around and he's gonna pee. Yeah. I just saw a man's willy! <laughs> That's God's That was your <laughs> I'm just gonna straight eye contact be like, oi oi! <laughs> Do you know what it is? It's the guy from the Lorax. The one goes, let it die, let it die, let it die, let it die. That one, and the guy from the Mr. Incredibles. The boss of Mr. Incredibles. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think she was going to make that sound, and she did. <laughs> oh, lovely. I mean, if he, he's gonna be too. <laughs> oh God, that's why there's grass! And I wanted to sit down on the grass, 
I've learned my fucking lesson. Right, um, I want to show you the stuff that I got, so I thought I'd just sit down with my jammies. Um, and show you the books that I got because I didn't show you properly, so don't mind the lighting. I know it isn't the greatest, but I'm just chill here. <laughs> anyway, I came to pick up these books. These three. This is a delivery that I made. Can you see them? So it is King of Scars by Leigh Bardugo. Um, Magic, Septimus Heap Magic. By Angie Sage and um, the sixth book of the Mortal Instruments saga novel set series. <laughs> Pardon. <laughs> um, it is City of Heavenly Fire by Cassandra Clare. So the Shadow Hunters one. I've been waiting to get my hands on all of them together because some of them were in Mexico. I already started reading the series. I was actually halfway through the third book, so actually halfway through the whole saga series thing and um i moved away i didn't have my books with me it was just a chaos because i had some of the books in mexico and some of the books hadn't come out yet in mexico at least um so it's just a whole giant mess and i've just been trying to get them again so i could read them properly but anyway i did kind of mess up um but yeah i got these two books from my sister actually the king of scars and the magic um this one's in german the magic one this one right here. Why am I off to the side? So I got this one for her because she hadn't gotten the <laughs> she hadn't gotten the um, first book of the whole series. She has the second, the third, the fourth, and possibly the fifth or something. And they're all in German, so yeah, she's gonna read these, and um, so she can finally start that series because it did. She started reading them and didn't make any sense. So there's that insight to that one. Then this is the first one again. Another first book problem. What's with my hair? Um, this is the first book of the duology of the King of Scars. It's the Grisha verse, I think. So, I accidentally got her this one, thinking it was just like a novel, just a single book, but I realised it's the second book of the duology. Um, so I got her these two books because, you know, we haven't had um, something to read for a while, so I thought she would like this, especially because she's like a lot into like werewolves and stuff like that. Um, I mean, not really, not as much recently. She's more into, like, watching animes and mangas and stuff like that. Um, but as of, like, fantasy and fiction and that's the same thing. And reading, stuff like that, she kind of likes this, so I thought I would get her that, but I didn't realise this was, like, the, <laughs> the second one, so I had to order it and wait a while. I don't know when we bought this, like, last time I went to the bookstore. When I want to go get my hair done, I think. Yeah, that's a bit, that's a bit ago. <laughs> So we got that one. So we finally picked this one up. Um, and yeah, I'm actually really, really hyped to read this because at the front it says something like, the best, a master of fantasy, the Huffington Post, the best magic universe since Harry Potter. And I was like, excuse me, a massive Potter head and that world just took over my life. Like, I just cannot remember my life before Harry Potter. I just can't. And like not even reading the books, like before the movies, like I cannot remember anything. It's been part of my life ever since like I have mem use of memory. That that's not what you say. Anyway, so I'm really hyped to read this. Um, that's that. Um, like I said, I did a little bit of a mistake with this one because I'm so annoyed. Like this is the perfectionist aesthetic side of me that's so annoyed at this. But then again. Like, you see the book difference here, like, it's fine, right? Like, it just makes it look more interesting, the height difference and stuff, I guess. But, like, I really like to kind of have everything, like, if it's a duology, I like it to be the same publisher, same match, height and everything. I don't know if I'm the only one, this is very, like, bookwormy of me, but I thought I'd share that with you. <laughs> so, my mistake is that I have these books from ages ago. This is actually bought in Mexico, and who's the publisher of this? Paperback. First... Margaret K. McKillary Books Paperback Edition, August 2010. Wow. This is old. 
And I know it's also old because this is the one I got in Mexico, like I said, and it has the Immortal Instrument, City of Bones, soon to be a major motion picture in theaters. <laughs> in theaters, August 2013. So I got this way back when, you know, it's been a minute. So I got that one. But my mistake is that I have like the binding and the height of this one and I accidentally got the other version from the other publisher. Publisher? I don't know why I said it like that. Um, publisher. And I didn't realize. I was sure that they looked the same. I didn't pay attention, like enough attention. And obviously you can't compare height and everything. It says it at the bottom but I don't really, I don't know. I'm not very good at space, like figuring things out. Um, <laughs> so... To me, if you tell me this is 20 centimeters and this is 20, I will believe you. I don't know. Like, yeah. Obviously, you can see it's different, but you get what I mean? If you just tell me, I'd think the same thing. So I accidentally got the one with the different binding, the one that matches the rest of them. The other the other um, publisher. Who's this one? Yeah, and this one even has a map. Those evil walker books, I think? I have absolutely no idea. CPI group? I don't know. So yeah, we've got a little bit of a mess of a book thing, but I don't know if this... I really don't like looking at it like this. Like, you know, the other, all the books and then the sixth one, or actually like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. How do you guys organize your books? That's something that I'm curious about. But I did this and I'm kind of angry at myself. <laughs> but then I got these two other books. So I got Witches Steeped in Gold by... Shannon? Shannon? Smart? How would you pronounce her name? Shannon, Sh Shannon, Shannon maybe? I don't know. I really Shannon? don't want to, I don't know. I don't want to be disrespectful obviously, but I am shit at pronouncing. She's Jamaican. Um, of Jamaican heritage, Shannon Smart, I don't know. Grew up in a small town in the southeast of England where I lived. What's up? Why'd you come here? Oh, you can take your books by the way. I've shown them all. Hey, Lovely. Right. Anyway, um, I got... What was I saying? Oh yeah, um, so yeah. This is Witches Steeped in Gold. I saw it, I picked it up, like it called me. I have this thing where I don't know if I'm the only one, and I know I'm going off on, off on a rant and probably, like, if you're this boring, you're gonna skip ahead or you're just gonna go off the video, but whatever. If you're bookworm, you're gonna stay, you know? Um... But I don't know, I feel like this is an actual thing. Books will call you. Like, obviously when you see the cover like this, is different, but when you see the binding and stuff like that, like, books will call you. You know what you like, or something interests you, something sparks an interest, you grab them off, and there's a reason why you do that, and hardly ever, I, and I really do mean it, hardly ever, even if you put it back, you won't read it, like, you will take that book out, because it called to you for some reason, I believe in this, I don't know if I'm the only one, let me know. But... You pull a book out, and then it's just because you did that, you're meant to read it. I firmly believe that. I don't know if I'm the only one, but <laughs> I do. And even though you're like, okay, yeah, I'll get it some another time, or maybe not now, or this isn't an, as interesting or something, even though you put it back, you're bound to read it once in your lifetime. I firmly believe that, because every single time this happens to me, I don't know if it's just me. But like I said, I pulled this out in another bookstore, same same range, is it range? No. You know, same chain. Same chain. So the Talia chain. So this one, I got all these, I'm getting all my books from Mannheim because I'm just obsessed with that bookstore and I really do want to have like, I don't know, I am very loyal to places. So if I go to a place, I will stay and stick to that place. Also, I really want to start, like, purchasing books from independent bookshops and, like, s like smaller ones, because I feel like it's also really nice to support them. But I do like the big ones to order, the big bad boys, especially because I read basically all my books in English. I don't really stray too far from there. Anyway, um, I just went to the other side, but I was trying to say that I took this out from a bookstore, the Talia bookstore in, in Warren. That's, that's the place. That's the town. That's the little place that we went to. And I took it out and I was like, ooh, this looks like interesting. So it says, order divides them, revenge will unite them. Which is steeped in gold. Shannon, 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 I don't know how to pronounce your name. Please let me know. Like I said, I don't want to be disrespectful. I just, there are so many ways people pronounce their names that you actually really do need the phonetics. I don't know how this can be introduced into our life. But anyway, 
It just says, a bloodly and deadly delight which is steeped in gold puts power into the hands of black girls, the true beating heart of magic. Um, Jamil Clayton, New York Times, best-selling author of the Bell series. I haven't read these. Um, and I'm just going to read quickly because I felt like this is super interesting. This just came out this year, I think, um, in April, I believe. So this is pretty new. Doesn't say the month, but I'm pretty darn sure this was published in April because I looked it up. I always like look books up in Goodreads and different places to like, you know, see stuff and add them to like my want to read, want to read and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm so excited to read this because when I took it off the bookshelf, I was like, oh, this looks so good. And I was going to buy it and I'm like, no, like I shouldn't really buy a book, another book. I have so many that I want to read and that are already on my stack of books to be read. Um, I shouldn't really get one, so I didn't. And then I saw this like post on Instagram of some graphic designer, graphic artist, creative that um, put Zendaya and I forget her name all the time. Anyway, I'll try to find the photo insert to here because I thought it was awesome. Obviously gotta credit the person and like let you guys know, maybe someone here. Um, this person just created this artwork and the moment i saw it i was like this i feel like this is like meant to be for this even though they created it for something completely different but i kind of thought about it and i was like this would be really cool for me i have no idea i haven't read the book i don't know if this is a bit brave for me to say like oh yes they should what i'm trying to say is these three actress whoopi goldberg the one that pray played the main character in how to get away with murder what's her name i always forget names god damn it Anyway, the main character, Annalise Keating, the one that plays her, I fucking forget. And then they, those, I feel like they would be amazing for something like this. Um, because they're just amazing women. Like, they're insane actresses, and I support them, like, through everything. And, like, they're three, like, power women, so I feel like three witches steeped in gold, like, it should be them. I don't know. I'll have a read and then tell you if I change my mind about the type of actresses that should be played by this if this were to become a live picture. I don't know I'm just talking to you just blurting out like my thoughts and opinions to see if any of you guys will agree or if you're like you are just no <laughs> so I'll read it and let you know and be like I was so wrong guys like they would not be able to play these things but I really doubt it like these are goddesses they could play anything just saying but anyway my little rant about that one and then I had a little bit of a mishap whilst ordering the books because I was also meant to get um instead of these two books <laughs> Instead of these two books, I was meant to go and get um, the first and second book of the Shadowhunter series so I could just start reading them back to back. Because I do do that with series as well. If all the seasons are on, then I'm like, yes, I have something long to watch, something to look forward to. I won't just like end on a cliffhanger and be like, oh my god, where's my life going? Like, I need something to continue. So something like Sex and the City, they have six seasons. Gossip Girl has like six seasons or something like that. Modern Family, like I would start it and wait for it to like finish or be nearly done have a, at least five books, five seasons or something, so I can have the whole thing and read it in one go. Because I really don't like waiting for books. But on the other hand, I really want to be this person this year where you read the book and there you're actually anxiously waiting for the next one to come out. I just want to try that once in my life and see how I like it because I can tend to stick to this kind of thing. I don't know if I'm the only one that does this with series and books too, so do that. But aside from my little rant there, I had a little bit of a mishap and I was supposed to get those two books, the first and second, so City, Immortal Instrument, City of Bones and City of Ashes, which I've already read, mind you, in Mexico, completely forgotten, it's been years, and I really want to read them back to back so it's really fresh. Turns out, I didn't really properly order them, so they never, the order was never placed, in a nutshell. They, I tried to fix this in German for 20 minutes and I didn't get what was going on. They didn't understand what was happening. It was just a mess. Um, but we finally understood it and um, I ordered the books. They're going to be here by next Wednesday. <laughs> so I'm going to go pick them up next Friday. Which is fine. I'm obviously not going to read all of these books by next Friday. Like, I'll pick them up eventually. Um, but yeah. So when that happened, I was just like, can you just help me and like help me figure out how to order it from the app because I did it from the app the first time and now it created this mess and I just want to make sure I'm doing it right so I can just order them and come pick them up. Um, so yeah, uh, this was my trial, <laughs> my test trial thing. So um, online on the app, on the Talia app, I actually like ordered this to pick it up in the place I was already in to do it online so then they could get it and 
it was already available so I could pick it up anyway but I was just like I'll just pick it up next week but then the guy was like the man was why am I saying the guy for everything just the man was so sweet and so nice and I like I could full on tell this story for about half an hour because of the amount of thoughts that were going in my brain like I was panic sweating because I was like okay I need to tell them that this is my order and I have two different orders and I had to explain to them so many things and I didn't have the words and I'm just panicking and I was forgetting words that I already knew so it's just a massive story if you ever want to hear that one day I have story time how I panicked at the Talia counter trying to get my orders but anyway all part of the fun process in games to be fair I could order all my books here but I really love just going to a bookstore and just looking for books I just love it and help I interact with other beings <laughs> so that was nice seems very loner of me but yeah, I got this one, so it's A Court of Thorns, A Court of Thorns, yeah, I was like, did I read this wrong? <laughs> a Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J Maas. Everyone keeps on raving about this author, particularly that they're just, she's just amazing, and um, I saw a review by this YouTuber that I just recently found as well, and she says, like, this is her favourite book ever, and this is her favourite author, like, recent author ever, so, naturally, I had to get the first book. Um, so I am ready to start reading this. This is not, a, I would say, a medium chunky book. How many pages is this? Ooh, this is a little preview. Um, 419, so it's like quite like medium sized book. It's not thin. I feel, I feel like a thin one would be like this, like a small one, but it's a medium sized chunky. I feel like <laughs> Miss Cassandra Clare's are chunky books, like they are chunky compared to the other ones. So I love these kind of like sized books too. I'm very like particular and also the cover of these two books feels phenomenal. They have like the font a little raised and can we just talk about like the cover of this? Like I just, it's like my tattoo on my back. So. I do gotta say, I love me an artistic cover. They're just amazing. So yeah, I'm so ready to read all of this. I'm just gonna grab it from here. I've been speaking for 20 minutes. I've just been talking at you, but today's vlog has actually been like super active and all over the place. Like it was quite adventurous. So I thought I'd just sit down a little bit and just wind down for the evening. Um, this vlog's gonna be definitely a long one, but I don't care, it's fine. I won't do as much tomorrow if I continue the vlog or I'll just end it here, whatever. Um, I'm just trying to have a sort around in my book section. I always keep my little book corner there. That's my little book corner, so I'm just like organizing them. <laughs> um, and yeah, I also got these. I also got these recently, oh, they're all gonna fall off. Um, the Shadow Bone trilogy. And this today's like my personal book club. I want to read this this month, and I don't have that many month, month, days left. So I need to get my butt going. That's the next book I'm reading. Everyone raves this book. Everyone's like all over book talk recommending this one. So I'm 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 getting a little bit of FOMO, so I need to know what this is about. Also I want to get Sears and the A Touch of Darkness series and things like that because I fucking love Greek mythology and anything witches, anything fantasy. I think this is like about fairy or something. Fire fa fair? Fair? Oh my god, I don't know how to pronounce that. Jesus. Um, anything fantasy, let me some of that. So, these are my books. And, oh, I forgot to show you. I got this little, I love having these kind of like more sit down vlogs. Um, I got this little folder for when I start school in like five months. <laughs> more like four. So I just got this folder separating, um, my stuff for when I get like, I don't know, I get to turn in things or carry any documents, papers, whatever. It's just nice having a little bit of a folder. Um, because I am going to be carrying my folder and obviously like a pencil case. I'm going to be carrying a folder and pencil case and um, just my notebook because I do want to do this thing. Getting all like stationary how about this thing. Um, I do want to do a thing because I tend to take notes several times so I... Get, kind of gets engraved in my brain and it makes studying a little bit easier um I'm kind of like switching and whatever works for me I kind of switch up all the time to try to figure out what's best for me so I try different techniques but I feel like this one might actually work a little bit better it, d it depends I'll see how it works but essentially what I want to do is um when I'm taking like the lessons and everything I'm going to use my iPad with the Notability app my eyes look so yellow with this um the Notability app and then I'm going to 
record the lesson as it starts and just take notes of what the teacher, the professor, or whoever's teaching, I don't know how to call them. Um, the person is talking and what they're saying and then if there's anything digital that I can do beforehand, I'll take notes of that before or after, I don't know how it works. But I really want to try and like do that that way so then I can gra grab my messy notes and put them pen on, pen on paper properly and have like something that I could do and then the basic things um, that I have already like you know I get an understanding I don't need to really write anything about that in the quick notes on my notability app then pass them onto pen and paper and then have like um, a proper digital kind of type of note so I can just, you know, if I need any images, links, anything like that, so everything's like together like that in case I need any help to study or anything in that area. And then to get ahead with the revision, after I do all of that, is just anything that I can't explain to like a five-year-old or something that I don't understand properly, um, I'll write down and I'll either try to do flashcards or like try to get like more quizzes or find more information about it. So that's what I try to do. Oh god. There's no off button for me to stop talking, is there? already been talking for half an hour how do I do this anyway I'm talking at you a lot and this might possibly bore you but yeah um, that's what I want to be doing so that's why I'm getting like stationary bits and bobs and I got my little folder like my theme my little aesthetic uh, day aesthetic beige and light green night aesthetic black and red classic I love it my two favorite things like my two personalities so I got these things got that little folder and I got these um I got these two pens this pen actually looks quite pink on the camera but it's actually violet it just says purple um and I got this green one because like I said green aesthetic and I got this like purple erasable highlighter which I thought would be handy because I don't have any erasable highlighters on me right now I love these friction ones and I had never used any pastel ones so I was like ooh pastel me up three and I don't know if I showed you I got the little cover I love it I want to get a um, matching cover for my iPad but because it's an old version it's proving to be a little bit more difficult than usual to try to get that kind of stuff I also got some scissors got these they look quite sleek they're like black metal by Hurlitz you know right-handed scissors and yeah, that's all I got. All I got aside from the five lines. So I hope you enjoyed the vlog so far. And yeah, I'll see you on my next one. I'm just going to literally read and organize a few bits and pieces like around my notebooks and stuff and my books. So yeah, I don't know if that's a little boring. I feel like it's more boring for me to talk at you and just show you how I organize things, but whatever. Mm -hmm.